but it was actually able to figure out the answer. Okay, so this is huge. Meta or Facebook just released Llama 2, their second version of the Llama model, which basically started this whole revolution of open source large language models. One of the biggest limitations of the original version was that it was only for research use. But this time, it's available for free for both research and commercial use. So this is going to be huge. Now, you can actually request to download both the weights as well as the corresponding inference code. Uh, so you will have to fill out a form and then they will send you the code and the uh, model weights. So what is actually new about this second version? So they are releasing uh, three different models. One is the 7 billion parameter model, then 13 billion, and then the biggest one is 70 billion parameter model. Uh, if you remember, in the initial release of Llama, there was a 65 billion parameter model, which was the biggest model uh, that they had. Now, according to them, it's trained on 40% more data than the Llama 1, and the context size is now doubled. So instead of 2,048 tokens, now the context window is 4,096 tokens, which is great. So now this is going to be a lot more useful than the current version. Now, apart from the base model that is trained on true trillion tokens, they are also releasing a fine-tuned version for chat. And that is trained with 1 million examples using the RLHF method. So it's trained or fine-tuned with reinforcement learning with human feedback. This is the same technique that uh, OpenAI is using for training their uh, models with. Okay, they also have uh, shown some benchmarks, and I think this is the most important part. So on the left, the column, you see different data sets or benchmarks data set, and then performance of different uh, open source large language models. Uh, so let's first look at the 7 billion, billion parameter model. Uh, they are uh, comparing it with the MPT7B and the Falcon 7B. Now, if you look at this specific column, it actually uh, blows everything else out of the water for a 7 billion parameter model. Now, if you are looking at the 7 billion parameter model, so this new Lama 2 model consistently outperforms the other 7 billion parameter models, and actually by a large uh, margin, except I think this specific case, the human evolved. So in that case, uh, the MPT7B model is performing better than the Lama 2 7B. But overall, if you see, uh, for the rest of the benchmarks, it's actually outperforming the previous 7 billion parameter models. Another interesting trend is to notice when it comes to the a comparison with the previous 65 billion parameter model. And again, you can see uh, that it easily outperforms the existing uh, model. Uh, for the 65 billion and uh, 70 billion, the, in most of the cases, uh, this new model outperforms the previous 65 billion parameter model. Now, if you compare the 7B to 13 billion parameter model, uh, there is a huge difference between the performance. So I'm assuming that most of the people will be either trying the 7 billion model or the 13 billion parameter model. And both of them gives uh, huge improvements compared to the existing open source models. Now, from the description, it seems like there is a chat version of this uh, Llama 2 model uh, that is using reinforcement learning from human feedback to ensure the safety and usefulness. Uh, you probably recall that RLHF uh, is a technique that was suggested by OpenAI. That's how uh, both the chat GPT as well as GPT-4 models are trained. Uh, and it seems like Meta is also adopting the same technique for training the second version of the Llama models. Okay, so Meta is also highlighting uh, the safety aspect of this model, as well as there is a uh, Llama impact challenge that you can apply for. Even though if you do not have access to the model weights and then transcode yet, the open source community was quick to put together uh, an app that you can use to try it out. Someone actually put together this streamlit app that you can run uh, two different versions of the Llama 2. So the one is the 13 billion parameter model, and I think there's an option of running 7 uh, billion model as well. So I use this just to play around with the model, and it actually is pretty good. 
So on the left hand side, uh, there are some parameters that you can change, but I'm going to keep everything uh, to the default values. Okay, so I'm using this uh, test prompt. A glass door has push on it in middle writing. Should you push or pull it, please think out, uh, think out loud step by step. And this is a prompt that I have used for other uh, open source models, and this seems to struggle with it, but it was actually able to figure out the answer. So it says, uh, first, I would like to point out that the word push is written in the middle writing, uh, which means it's reversed from how we normally read it, right? So if you were to follow the normal uh, convention of reading from left to right, right? So it's going to uh, look like this, right? However, since the word is written in the middle writing, it's possible that the intended, intended meaning is the opposite of what you would normally expect. So, right? so in this case, uh, this would mean that you need to pull it, right? And that's actually the correct answer. This is pretty great. Um, in a quick experiment, it seems to be working pretty nicely. Okay, so here is another prompt. Explain the correct usage of homophones in the following sentences. The principal is your Paul, and the site at the site was quite a site, right? And again, uh, it actually figures out both of them accurately. I, I kind of like that it's uh, putting these emojis uh, in its answers. And probably it has to do with the system prompt that is being used within uh, this uh, Streamlit app. Uh, so in this case, uh, it gave us uh, what homophones are, right? And in uh, it's able to figure out that principal and polar homophones. Uh, so that's pretty nice. In the second sentence, it figured out that uh, sight and sight are homophones. Okay, uh, now it does seem that there are some guardrails uh, or, or safety mechanisms. Uh, so it's not going to give you answers for every question uh, that you ask. Now, overall, it's great to see the release of this second version. Uh, this was a much anticipated model, uh, and everybody was looking forward to it because Meta said that it's going to be available for commercial use. I hope uh, this will really push uh, the big giants like Microsoft, Google, and OpenAI to open source some of their models. Uh, and it's kind of surprising to see that Meta or Facebook is the one uh, that is actually releasing all these open source tools. And we need to thank Meta uh, for their initial Llama model because uh, of that, uh, we have all these different flavors of open source models. So once I have access uh, to the weights and inference code, I will be doing more thorough tests on this Llama 2 model. And we'll also look at integrating this as a part of the local GPT project. Okay, so this was a quick video. Just wanted to cover the release of this uh, new model. And I'm excited to see what people will build with it. I hope uh, you found the video useful. Uh, if you did, consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.